Hello, hello guys, and welcome back to some more Poker Quiz. Alright, we are getting into the swamp with the knight here. It is an upgrade run. You know, it's it's it's, it's a basic run. <laughs> I think that was the first episode name. But let's get into the campsite here and see if we can figure out which way we should go. Let's first rest and take a bit of health. Um, yeah, that's fine. Should we spend... No, I think I'll rather have the energy actually, because the energy we can... Yeah, it's it's quite expensive to do the energy here, or uh, the active, where we can discard the entire hand of the enemy. So uh, we're gonna not do that, but we are gonna refill this little wand. That's gonna be nice. So, which way are we gonna go here? Well... I don't... You know what? It might be a really good idea actually spending some gold on seeing what is unlocked over here with doing world map side range. I think that's that's probably worth it to know exactly what we are going up against in the next... Whew. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's see what we are going up against here. Okay, I just looked over all these fights here and for me... The most obvious way is going down here to the Centaur. He can only do 7 attack and poison 4, but it is reusable. So that's a bit of a worry, but it's a 2 card straight. So we can probably handle that with our shield. Uh, these guys are actually not that bad either. 2 odd cards, attack 10. Again, we could defend against that every second turn. So it's not the worst one. But these two battles up here are way harder than, well, taking a gem, of course. And also, I feel like the ghoul might be... I mean... I could say that this fight might be the easiest of them, but I think the ghoul is also fairly easy. It's not the worst fight in the world with four cards raised on the poison 15. The other two I don't want. I don't want those fights. So we are definitely going to go down to the centaur, gem, pile of four chips, and then uh, into the ghoul. Yeah, and then we have this fight, which we don't know what is. Um, but yeah, that's the way we're going to go here. Or, well, I have decided that that's going to be the best for us. Ah, uh, right. Right, 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 right. So we don't really need to do anything this turn. So we can just easily go with... Mm, bumping up the 8 to a 9. And then bumping up the A. So we can also do that in the side bow. I feel like that's the best way to go here. Or is it? See, I could also, I could also gamble and do the Ring of more here. I think I'm okay with gambling since we do have 8 gems. So if we are struggling next turn... With him getting the two cards straight, we could potentially use some gems to find whatever we need for the spades. You know what? I'll, I'll do a ring of more since we do have the ace. Yeah, there we go. The queen is going to be very helpful for us. Um, because it's going to give us a bit more damage in the sword. I'm not sure if it was worth it, but now when we have done it, we might as well take the two aces and do 33 damage. We are definitely struggling for damage. We need, we need some more sustainable damage, I feel like. Uh, we can't really use those for anything in turn. Well, you do get the poison here. A uh, poison arrow. So we need to find at least 11. Well, that's going to be easy with the ace. That's exactly 11. And we can use the two queens to do 30 damage. Oh, sure. I'll take that. Do he has any more? No, he only got one two cast rate. So that's fine. We can just avoid the damage with the spade. The only worry here is... Next time, we're going to take two damage. And next round, we're going to take two damage. We can't avoid that. We cannot avoid that. Oh, is it three damage? I think it's probably three damage, actually. For this turn, we can at least avoid all the damage. Uh, yeah, it's three poison next turn. Okay. And he's going to do it again because he's drawing more and more cards. Uh, four cards, great. Four, five, six, eight. Ugh. Eight one. Yeah. So he's going to do... He's actually going to do it twice. Oh, that's terrible. You know what? I don't like that at all. That's going to be way more damage than I want to take. So it's it's worth spending the energy here because he got two. Actually, no. Does he have? No, he only got one. Hmm. And we got we got spades here. So, oh, we do not have our shield. Well, in that case, I feel like using the energy to avoid the damage and only take three damage. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Uh, the two eights. Yeah, we can't bump it up to a jack anyway. So 24 damage. Sure. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. We can't bump it up to anything anyway. So, yeah, go ahead. Now we go. He got the four cards right. So he will be minus four this round. That is pretty good. 
So we only need to deal with the poison. We, I think, I think we're probably gonna handle the poison with. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Since, well, yeah, I think I'm gonna use my shield here because next round he won't probably have anything. I mean, the chances are pretty low. So yeah, just do the two tens and then use the jack for a bit of shielding. So we will block those two damage because next time, I mean, I could have used the ring of war, but I'll, I'll wait with that. Probably for this round two, five, ten. I mean, he could have it. I don't know. I could check for it. But what does it do? Do I really care? Not really. I, I wouldn't use my energy here. I don't think so. At least. Ah, Jack. Well, just use the ring of more and do a pretty good hit here. I feel like. Or maybe we should wait with it for next round. You know what? Let's let's wait with it instead. No, no, I want to do it because I don't have any pairs. So let's do it. Two queens or bump it up. I'll, I'll rather do the two queens and then use this on the side bow. Yeah, it's actually the same damage, isn't it? Yeah, it's 33 and then plus 3 with the ace. Yeah, it's exactly the same. So I can bump this up to a 2. Well, actually a 3, but whatever. Uh, yeah, and I can use those two for 6 damage. And let's see if he got anything. He didn't. Now he will probably have something. 2, 5, 7, 10. I mean, there are plenty of outs. There are a lot of outs. You know what? Let's check for it. Yeah, he had it. Okay. So we're just going to defend it. It's going to be an easy one to defend. Um, but we do not have any good damage here. You know what? I, um, I'm okay with not doing a whole lot of damage here and then just basically defend this and then kill him maybe next round. Yeah, 15 block. That's fine. And he's going to do his poison and all that shit. Shit. I don't know why I said shit. Uh, yeah, let's bump up the jack to a queen and we can kill him there we go so that's not too bad uh, it took a long time to get him down because we don't have a lot of damage that's my biggest worry right now we'd really need to find something what is this that is an elite discard one when hit Ooh, ooh, that's gonna be a tough battle because we need to use our we need to use our side bow quite a lot to make that work out for us i think i'm just gonna take the gem here i don't see i don't see why i would take that battle it's a, it's a pretty tough battle actually yeah, yeah, no, 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 no bueno, no bueno. Let's take the chips and I think we're going to go for the ghoul. I don't like it, but yeah, should we? Uh, you know what? I should probably upgrade the number of cast drawn. Yeah, do that. Do that. And we got a campsite after that and the anaconda. OK, anaconda might not be too bad. Well, if we can get through without him hitting us, that's that's the case here. So let's get into the ghoul fight. Was it a ghoul? Yeah, it was a ghoul. Uh, yeah, no four cards right, so uh, that's fine. We got two sixes, three six six king. Uh, I, I, am I fine with doing eighteen damage here, or do I want to go out and look for more? You know what? I'll I'll, I'll um I'll wait with my uh, ring of more until I actually need it for the spades because, or until I need it for the shield because that 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 poison is it's a bit annoying. Yeah, let's uh let's just use it now. I mean, oh the hexes as well. Oh, he, don't, he doesn't have anything. Oh, right. Um, in that case, I should probably use the Ring of Maul because I don't know what next turn is going to bring me. Next turn, he could hex me. So, Oh, well, 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 he's not... Yeah, you know what? I'm going to wait with the hex for the next... Uh, the, yeah, I'm going to wait with the Ring of Maul to next turn because next turn, he won't do anything either. I will have all available for the next turn as well. So let's just do the, the small amount of damage we can here and then see what he's going to get. Okay. So again, nothing. And we can... Yeah, I, I get. I guess. I guess I'm okay with just bumping this up to a ten, and then do thirty damage, and that's about it. I'm okay with that. I'm. I'm gonna keep the ring of more around just in case I need it. Hmm. Three, four. Do I want to use my wand here to check it out? I mean, there's not a big chance he's gonna have the poison, but good chance he's gonna have the hex. But do I care about the hex? I don't know. Also, we got an ace, and we don't really have anything else. So I mean, we could bump it up to a nine. And this up to a four and then do a decent amount of damage. Mm, yeah, I think I'm okay with waiting with the Ring of Morn here. Bump it up. Do the 27. That's pretty, I mean, that's pretty good. Plus the three, that's also 30 damage. So eh, it's not too bad. And the ace. Actually, we can bump that up to a two and do an extra two damage. So that's fine. In turn. Oh, he did have. Okay, but not with the cast that I was expecting. And uh, so he hexed a couple of our. Yeah, that's annoying. Right. Five, five, nine, ace. Not very likely he's going to have anything here. I think we can give him a card without too much of a worry. The question is how are we going to... I mean, we can bump this up to a jack. 
So yeah, we're probably gonna do that and do the 30 damage. And then give him... Uh, you know what? Wait, hold on. I'm gonna do the deuce here. Because then I'm only giving him the 6. I mean, I'm giving him the chance of having the eggs, but I'll rather do the 30 damage. There we go. Didn't have anything. Perfect. Queen, ace. Yeah, let's bump it up. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, that's uh, he, just a three. If he got a three, we are in trouble. We need to uh, we need to look here. Okay. So here's the question: Do we want to use our energy, or do we want to just defend it? I mean, the f he's 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 getting pretty low, but I would take damage if I'm not using my energy because I will need at least probably three rounds. So that's a lot of damage. So I'd rather use my energy actually. To get rid of that because that may that's making sure that i'm not taking any damage basically so uh, yeah I'm okay, I'm okay with doing that spending a bit of energy in this fight um 33 on the sword two on the deuce well two what deuce on the side bow or two on the side bow not two on the deuce <laughs> what the hell in the turn six eight ten king Ooh, yeah he got a couple of outs here he got sevens he got nines Jacks and nines, five and seven. Uh, I don't like it. I don't like it, but you know what? I'm just going to bump this up to a 10 and uh, probably just do the 30 damage. And well, hopefully we won't take damage here. Let's find out. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that because he can't really do anything anyway. He is very dead. Two ways is 33 damage. So, I mean, we are managing. We are managing. We are not losing a lot of health. And we are not losing a lot of uh, our resources either. So it's, you know what? It's, it's it's okay so far. But I'm I'm worried about when we're getting into boss fights. Where they got a lot more mechanics. Uh, this fight could also be a little bit annoying. We need to make sure that we are hitting him quite a lot. Right now he got 30. He needs 35 and he got 48. Jesus. We need to hit him with i think i'm bumping up the two aces it, it sounds crazy to do it but i'd rather hit him a lot and make sure he won't get cards than i want him to, than I, compared to hitting him really hard so what i'm actually gonna do here is absolutely insane but it's gonna work out i think <laughs> i hope because now i can still use this six to hit him once that's minus one card then i can hit him hit him three more times with these twos and that's making sure that he won't have the 35 and do 40 attack so that is how we're gonna go and it will take a long time to get this guy out i might even not be i mean this time we can do one hit and he is below uh well maybe it depends on what card it is if it's the deuce we still need to hit him one more time but we we already got two attacks so that's fine so we can bump this up to an eight and do a decent amount of damage i mean 24 that's pretty good and he already lost it and we can still do the side bow and then turn so it's, it's not too bad. 52, that's bad. Ooh, that's bad. Okay, we got a lot of... Yeah, no, we don't actually. Oh, yeah, well, actually, we do have three hits. And I, th I think three hits is going to be enough. We need to bump this up to a two. Actually, just bump it up to a three. And then we can do the two fives in the sword with 15 hit. That's decent. And then the other two down here. And he should be below 35. Perfect. 34. Well, that's pretty good. That means we can basically go for whatever we want here. Um, yeah, I think I think the best we can do is probably just bumping this up to an eight, and just do those two, and that's about it. What we can do here, so it, I mean, it's still twenty-four damage. So it's so again, we are we are managing around this lead with this discard, uh, and we haven't even used our ring of more yet. Ooh, forty-two, and he got low and high cards, so that could be. If we, uh, I mean, if we take away just the king, it should be fine, or one of the kings or the ten. We don't know what do we have. I feel, I feel comfortable with doing, bumping this up and bumping the ace up to do more and more hit there. So we got three hits. Should be enough. Ugh. Well, it is. It is enough. It is. So it's fine. It's fine. There we go. 39 should be fine if we got it. Yeah, we got two hits here and then we can... Eh. Uh, I think I'm going to go for a ring of more here, actually. We can find another ace or, well, two nines. Ten jack. Eh... Uh, yeah, it, it doesn't really matter what I'm going to do here. I think I'm just going to bump this 10 up. Yeah, that's fine. Do the two jacks. I mean, it doesn't matter if I use the jacks or the nines. They're pretty much, pretty much don't care. Um, we can't really use them, but we can use the two fours for 8 extra damage. There we go. That's fine. 
50. Oh, well, we could have used the Ring of More here. <laughs> Got two aces, a king and a jack. We need to hit him at least three times. I think I need some gems here to make it work. Yeah, I need some gems. That should do it. The question is, can we bump something up to make it work? Yes, we can bump this up to a nine. That's fine. That's 27 damage plus whatever we can put in here. And that should be way below 35. There we go. In turn. So, I mean, this is working out quite well. Uh, wow, that's that's not good. 49. We need two hits. At least two hits. Actually not. Let's let's find out if we actually hit him here. Uh, maybe I should bump one. Nah, actually, I'll, I'll wait with the bumps just to see if we get him below. We didn't. Yeah, we need to use the ring of more. Oh, God, that's terrible. That's horrible. Absolutely horrible uh, draws here. So I think it is probably wise to use the gems to find some lower cards again. There we go. Good. Let's see if we can get him below. Thankfully, we could. That was worth that gem for sure. Um, yeah, that's that's the worry. We need to find some low cards to actually do the damage. We got two hits plus one more hit. We do not have a good hit. I mean, I'm just going to use the king. I'm, I'm pretty... Actually, let's find out if we do get him below before we are doing anything else. Let's see. Yeah, we do. Okay, fine. Just do the 15 hit there. I'm okay with that in turn. And maybe we can soon... 48. We got two hits already. Let's use them in the side bow and see how far we get him down. 35. So that's fine. We can do a 21 hit and he is below it now. In turn. And we should be able to kill him now. Uh, just bump this up and do the two kings. And he's dead. Goodbye. Okay. Sweet. Pretty damn sweet. Uh, two gems back. So yeah. I mean, spending a gem here was not real that bad. We haven't lost health here. That's pretty damn good. I think we're going for the camp side. I mean, I'm, I am I do miss a... I mean, one chip or a campsite. Sure, I'll take the campsite. Restore a bit of the health. Um, hunt? Mm, how is the world looking here? Do we... I mean, we got another campsite, so... Uh, uh, I might take the chips instead of the campsite. Uh, I don't know yet. What is this fight? Frostwim. Another elite. That looks... Two pairs. Poison 8. Ooh, Blackjack. Freeze 9 to 3... Arbitrary hero items. That looks dangerous as hell. Uh, yeah, I, th I think I need my um, my energy. We'll refill this and let's move on then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit worried about... Uh, uh, not this fight, not, this, not the Anaconda, but I'm a bit worried about the Frostworm. This poison could add up really quickly. He, I mean, he's getting a lot of... Oh, two pairs. I mean, it's pretty hard to get two pairs, even with eight cards. I'm not sure if... How hard this is going to be. Blackjack is going to be happening quite a lot. And that freeze is going to be freaking annoying. Freaking annoying. Um, Is there anything I want to upgrade here? I might, I might actually consider upgrading the gem draw. But do I? Yeah, even, yeah, I'll rather keep my coins here for the castle if I can do it. I'll have a lot of coins for the castle if I can manage without it. Uh, no three of a kind. So that's good. Goodly good good. Eh. Eh. No, 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 no. Yeah. See... I don't really want a shield here because he's doing more than my shields can can handle. So I'm going to do a ring of more now to find some better damage and more damage instead. Didn't find it at all. You only find all the middle cards, which we don't really need. Let's bump up the jack to a queen. 30 damage. And that's about it. What we can do here. Can't really do anything else. So uh, in the turn. No three of a kind. Okay. We got an ace, but we can't bump it up to where we want it to go. So I think we're going the other way. We are going to bump up this 10 to a jack. Then bump up this ace to do some side damage. Uh, do the knight sword and also do two extra damage there. There we go. Ooh, do he have any pairs? Ew. So I feel pretty comfortable without looking at them. Uh, his, uh, his hidden cards. We do not have any good cards here. I'm doing a ring of more. That's decent. Yeah, I'm going to bump up the king to get two aces. Do the 33. And I guess we can do one extra damage. And that's about it. We're definitely looking for another card. I mean, I need another damage card so I can use all these cards that I will get from Ring of More that I can use right now. All the middle cards, so to speak. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely something we're looking for. Maybe something that would work well with the bump as well. But uh, we, we'll see if when we get to the castle if we can find anything real good. Let's end the turn and see what he got. Nothing. He got one pair. Yeah, I'm going to take those odds. I'm going to take those odds. Two fives. Eight. Ugh, that's terrible. 
<sighs> the lowest pair. I mean, it's not the lowest pair, but it's the lowest pair I would consider putting into the Knight Sword, but it's only, what, 15 damage? So it's actually lower than doing the 18 here, so... <laughs> yeah. No bueno. Did, did he give us... He did give us a gem. You know what? I'm okay with using a gem here. That's also pretty terrible, but... You know what? We can bump this up to a 9, and at least we can get a bit more damage out of it. There we go. Use the 4 as well. And uh, did we bump? Well, now we did, and... Well... I might. I, I thought I might have one more, but no, we actually bumped one of them. So there we go. End the turn. Didn't have it. That's fine. Oh, there we go. Three of a kind. Yeah, I'm okay with spending the energy here. I am perfectly happy with that. There we go. Ring of more, I think. I mean, I could take the two. Yeah, yeah I'll take the bump on the sevens instead and use the ring of more here. I, I, I want it for the next round, maybe instead. 21. I'm okay with that and doing an extra four. Yeah, I'm cool with that. Ooh, two eights. I feel like he got it. You know, you get sometimes you just get the feeling, <laughs> and uh, I got the feeling here. Also, we got some terrible cards. Absolutely horrendous. I mean, we do have four damage, but well, the good thing about this setup is we can always do damage, basically, Un unless we are getting frozen or hexed or you know something like that. But we can always do damage. I think I'm gonna do the Ring of Mortar five. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that, that wasn't a much a whole lot better. I mean, we get a little bit more damage with bumping up this card, but that's that's not exactly what I was looking. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna. We didn't see any eights. I did not see a single eight, did I? Oh yeah, I did actually use an eight. Ah, uh, I mean, what is the, what are the odds that he got it? I don't know, but I'm gonna take the chance. I just had that feeling he probably have it. Okay, good, he didn't. My feelings are off. <laughs> Two nines and two aces. Okay, I think it's worth... Actually, can we kill him? We got 30 there, but we do not have more than that. We are looking for 10 damage. Yeah, let's just let's just go look. Let's just go look. Not there, not there. Okay, fine. Let's do the 30 and end the turn. Now we should be able to kill him. We actually got lethal right there. Good. And I can't have done. So again, we're not taking damage. And we're not using that much energy or gems or anything. So, I mean, our food situation is going down. But, I mean, what can I do? What can I do? And uh, there we go. We didn't really find a lot of food here. Thankfully, he can't do anything this round. That's good. But it's going to take a lot of rounds to take him out. So, <laughs> uh, we're probably going to lose a bit of health here. <laughs> hmm. I think we're going to do the Ring of more because... Actually, I shouldn't. I, sh I really shouldn't do that. I mean, it's still 17 damage, plus the 2, 4, plus 6. Yeah, uh, you know what? I, I'm not going to go spend the Ring of more because I have a feeling he's probably going to do something this round. Nope, okay. Well, just, ugh, I mean, just use the Ring of more then. Two kings, that's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, bump up this 2 to a 4, so we can do a bit more damage in the side bow and move on. Okay, now we don't know if he got anything. Two pairs, very unlikely. Very unlikely. Uh, it could happen, but I mean, yeah, nah, probably not. Mm, bump up this to a 10, and we should be good for the 30 damage. And turn 7 2, yeah, that's fine. 4 5 7 10 King Ace. So we got a blackjack. Ah, it's a lot of freeze, but I can handle most of it with the Ring of Morn in the next turn. So you know what? Let's just do the damage and handle that blackjack in the next round. He doesn't have any pairs, so we probably won't do the poison anyway. Um, side bow and then turn. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Thankfully, he didn't freeze the ring up more. Uh, but yeah, I, I understand why he took out my uh, spades here. Or shield of spades. But uh, yeah, I want to... Ooh, see, we do have spades here to... Is it better just to do the energy? Instead of unlocking this? You know what? I, I might want to unlock the bump. And then just get rid of this poison shit and just block him out this turn. I, th I think it's just better to do that instead of using all my resources on this instead of doing damage. So what we want to do here is find nine damage. I think the jack, I don't really need it anyway. Get rid of that. Bump the king up to an ace. And here we go. 33 damage, four, five. Well, we can't use the five. What is this actually upgraded to? I don't remember. I want to check that out now. What is this upgraded to? Attack two times. Ooh, I mean, that's not bad for... Okay, it's 10. I thought it was six. No, okay, okay. That's that's pretty expensive. That's pretty expensive, I feel like, compared to what you get out of it. Uh, end the turn. Mm, 
He already got a pair of deuces. Uh, probably should check it. Uh, let's go check. Got a nine and an ace. Okay. Well, 100 health. And we need to unfreeze it as well. I think I'm okay with using even more energy here. I don't. I, I really wished I didn't have to do that, but I did. So what can we get? Uh, well, um, the best we can do is actually bumping up this 6 to an 8. Because I can't really get to the king anyway. So 24 damage, that's fine in the turn. Hopefully he won't get the other blackjack, but will he He doesn't have a pair. So I'm okay with him getting the blackjack, I think, here. That's, some, that's actually some... I, I, I'll use the ring of more because it could be blacked out anyway. And I don't want it to be... Uh, <laughs> blacked out i mean i don't want it to be frozen so i'm gonna use it instead queen queen king to aces 33 damage i think we might be able to kill him next turn if he doesn't freeze our side bow and knight sword we'll see about that do that actually i can't why, why didn't i not do this the last time i can actually get rid of this frozen and uh, not that i need it end the turn that's fine i'm happy about that i mean i i don't do i even want to unfreeze it yeah sure i will but i could i could I could go ahead and spend the two eights over here and then bump. Yeah, that's probably the best way to go. And then bump up the jack to a king. Because that will leave me with a little bit more damage than the two eights. So he's down to 11 health. He's probably... He got the two... I mean, it's only poison eight. I'm okay with taking damage now if he did that. There we go. Uh, we just need 11 damage. and He's done for. There we go again. Didn't lose any health. We did spend eight energy, which is not really nice. We got full gems and we're probably going to take the chips here because i don't need health i don't want to spend my energy and how many of those do we have left four so the only case why i would go in here is to replenish the uh the wand i'll rather take the chips oh traveling healer well no thank you we are full health get the chips and get into this castle of clubs we got a dungeon, we got a farm, we got a tavern, we got a guild, we got an inn. Not exactly what I was looking for with this many chips. What is in the dungeon? Um, I'm not sure if we should go down here. It could, I mean, they do a lot of curses. They do a lot of hexes. They do a lot of stuff that I don't like on this character. We got the farm. I will definitely pay for that. Uh, tavern... I might go for for this one just to see if we do have something. We do have a shop here. We probably want to go for that shop. So since we can see the shop, I don't really want to look further because that is that was exactly what I was looking for. Don't need to do that. The guild, frost resist or scouting, uh, smithing. I don't know. Maybe the scouting is fine. It's always nice to see a bit a little further ahead. And I don't really want to spend my gems here. Or oh, sorry, not my gems, my chips. Let's just do the scouting. Castle in. Don't need it. This was an absolutely horrible dungeon. Uh, sorry, uh, castle. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I could go down into the dungeon because I do have full health and all that. And I do need the... Yeah, we should probably go down there. We do need the... Um, it, it's, it's probably not going to be worth it because we're going to lose a lot of health. But at least we can spend like four... We can spend four gems without a worry. We get a lot. I mean, we could we could even. I mean, with thirteen, we could we could. I don't. I don't really need the number of caster on here. Yes, yeah, sure, it's nice, but I'm. I really need some other items. I, I think it's too much. Of, I think it's too much of a risk right now to go down there. I feel like it's too much of a risk to go down there. We have to really consider it because these fights could also be very very hard for us. This fight is not too hard. That's the monkey, and he's gonna steal our gems. Eh. Uh, He's actually going to be tough to kill because he got 300 health. As, as you can see here, we can only do like 30, something like 30 damage every round. But that is only the case if they don't do in flames, if they don't do uh, big amounts of poisons or not poison, but hexes and stuff like that. We are really weak if they are putting something on us. And we need some more items to deal with that. See, this this up here, I, I, will, I will not go for the Wicked Witch. She, she would absolutely destroy me. I mean, she wouldn't, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to be a character that would do a, a, a significant amount of damage. So we probably want to go for the monkey and then the mushroom sprite. Draw plus one when hit. Okay, that's not a... That's, <laughs> that's, a, re that's a really hard fight. I might want to go for this fight instead. Fire orc, four red cards, and play mate to two arbitrary. Also a pretty hard fight, but the wizard tower might be nice. 
and the shop is very nice. So yeah, I feel like the monkey and then the fire rock and then the wizard tower and then the shop might be the way to go. Then we will have a lot of chips when we're going into that shop. We could buy a lot in there if we get something good. But that is going to be next episode, guys, because I'm going to leave you here and I will come back for exactly what we were just going over for the next episode. See you around, lads.